Hello again, I am Blunty, and what do you suppose this is? Hmm? A bit weird looking, isn't it? To me, pretending I don't know exactly what it is, it kind of looks like a single salmon egg. Perhaps. Dusty, though. Hmm, what could it be? Hello again, I am Blunty, and this is a Sigma macro lens. It's a 105mm f2.8, and I just got it in for review. It's got the Canon mount on it, which means I will be reviewing it mounted to my trusty Canon EOS 60D, which, truth be told, actually doesn't get as much use these days as it used to for many and various reasons but anyway i'm going on a trip soon and there will be some lovely botanical gardens there which is pretty much the ideal place to go have a play with a macro lens but before i do that i thought i might have some fun with it because this being a canon mount and this being my little pentax q which the camera is barely you know the same size as the mount almost uh, but i do have a couple of adapters this which is a c mount adapter for c mount type lenses that go on my pentax q that's these and uh into the c mount lens i can put this which is a c mount to canon lens adapter which means i can put this ridiculously huge lens on this ridiculously tiny camera and it will look amusing and funny and it will give me another benefit as well, which I'll tell you about in a minute. But for now, let's see how fast I can do this. Go! And bang, there you go. One ridiculously large lens on one ridiculously tiny camera. And the comedic value is inescapable. It's just... A uh, hilarious sight to behold, but the benefit I was telling you about before. See, because that lens is designed to go on this camera with a sensor that size, and this camera here is a sensor that size, it's obviously different, which changes what's called the crop factor, which changes the effective focal length of the lens itself, which changes how it behaves and can do some really interesting things, especially when we're talking about a macro lens, because instead of being a 105mm macro lens on the Canon 60D body there, on the Pentax Q, it's effectively working out to somewhere around the range of 525mm lens, which is an extraordinary long lens to have macro capabilities. So let's put the adapters back on and have some fun and see just how close and uptight we can get the things in there. How incredibly, ridiculously thin the depth of field can be when you're dealing with that kind of uh, focal length and that kind of macro photography. Playtime! So there you go, and that was amusing, or at least it was easier to do than the video I was trying to work on today, which I couldn't quite get finished in time to get it uploaded when I wanted to get it uploaded, so I did this little quick thing instead because I got bored and I wanted to play with the new lens that I got in. The proper review of this on the proper body that it was designed for is coming uh, probably a week, two weeks or so, depending on how fast I can get it done and how much my trip takes out of me and all that kind of stuff. But for now, that image at the beginning, which uh, was quite uh, inexplicable, was in fact... A close-up of little R2-D2 here. Did you guess? Or did you wait until the end of the video and just write the answer down in the comment section and pretend you guessed right? Because, you know, I don't think many people would have guessed right. Now, what am I listening for? This guy does his own noises. Catch you next time.